the Headbangers Ball is coming to you from the Donington Monsters of Rock Festival taking place at Castle Donington in England. Now the festival is in its 12th year and 1992 sees the return to a six act bill and also the return of headliners Iron Maiden who first topped the bill here in 1988. Now before we meet up with the opening band, the Almighty, here's a bit of an insight into what makes Donington the world's most prestigious rock festival. people that stand out there and, and listen to the bands and watch the bands. It's a pilgrimage, a lot of people have been here for a week, a holiday. You tell me. <laughs> in 1992. This thing, without a doubt, is the annual Woodstock. And although there are other festivals in the world, the, f the attention is here. And you can do as much in one show here is it take you six months to do around the rest of the world so in comparison there's really nothing else like it there's a big vibe i mean there's there's a big air of expectation and it brings the best out of everybody it brings the best out in the bands i mean um not just maiden but all the other bands on the bill i mean i've been driving up in the car today and listening to it uh, live on the radio and uh and uh you know everybody was i mean i've got like a posse in the car with me I've got eight people in the car with me and and, uh, well, the truck, actually, I should say. And, uh, and everybody's going, oh, that's that, oh, God, they sound really good, don't they? You know, and, and stuff. So that's excellent that it's getting, and it's what a festival should do, is, is expose l bands like the Almighty, for example, and, and, and Wasp and people like that, uh, to a huge audience all at one time. Donington's just the main event for the year in the heavy metal calendar in Britain. has been now for over 10 years. And, uh, Despite the fact that it, it normally rains, it's, it's still the best day out. The whole atmosphere and everything, from the tents, people camping, setting fire to the tents, blowing up the cars, macheting each other, and just general getting drunk. It's just one great day. We couldn't say no, you know, because it means a lot. So, yeah, that's why we're, that's why I'm standing here talking to you in the fucking <laughs> cold. <laughs> well, it's just built itself up a reputation over the past what. I know it's been going for 12 years now and it's known all over the world and it's like people come here no matter what band is playing just to hang out drink beer and have a good time and that's what it's all about Donington this year it's 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 actually a strange bill in paper on paper it shouldn't in theory work because the almighty opening great terrific British band come through build up the fans amazing band followed by Wasp um, great contrast you then go to Slayer now Slayer will come out and do what Slayer have always done. Thunder, whose job I don't envy, having to follow Slayer. Then Skid Row, having to follow Thunder, again a British band, with an album due out on Monday. Um, that should be fun. Skid Row, who will come out and do, because it's a one-off for them, they've been on tour in America. Fun. Um, and then Maiden, who are right at the top, having to follow that lot. Um, and in a sense, have got everything to prove and everything to lose. Um, very strange, very interesting, should be fun. Yes, you should realise by now the Headbangers Ball is coming to you from the world famous Donington Monsters of Rock Festival. And uh, the event's been going 12 years and over that period it's gained a reputation of, uh, of either making or breaking up and coming new bands. And first up tonight I'm joined by the band who had the unenviable task of opening the show and making their debut at Donington and that is British rock band The Almighty and I'm joined by Ricky and Stump. Hello, <laughs> Hi. How are you? <laughs> you all 
always ask me that. I want to know, you were on stage about an hour ago, how did it go? It was unbelievable. 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 It's unbelievable. It was, uh, we, like, we had expectations of what the show was going to be like. You know, obviously before we did it, but it, it surpassed that in every way. We played really well. The sound on stage was great. Yeah. The amount of kids that were getting into it, and you know, oh, I mean, what can you say? It was just unreal. It was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. So you had time to enjoy it. We did have time. It was too much time. Four <laughs> minutes too much time. Yeah. I mean, we, we thought the half an hour was going to fly in, but personally myself, once we got into like three songs in, kind of settled down. It was really good. The Very highlight. Enjoyable. I mean, yeah. making albums is great. Seeing your singles, your albums do well is great. But today just was better than anything the greatest show on earth <laughs> because you've been coming here as fans for years so this must be like a fulfillment of a huge well, ambition I first came here in like 88 and we just started the almighty we were like four or five months old and I stood in the mud and watched Guns N' Roses song for the first time and uh, watched Maiden and Megadeth and all I thought oh, what, what I'd give for the, you know, the almighty to, to play there one day and uh, four years later we're opening it up and it's it's unreal, it's brilliant. <laughs> well, congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Now, um, how, <laughs> I will, how are you guys going to spend the rest of the day, if you can actually tell me that? And are there any bands that you're particularly looking forward to seeing? Well, we, were, we did a show in Mannheim last Saturday, and the bill was slightly different, but uh, I mean, I love all the bands in the bill, and Stommy's a big fan of them too. We watched Slayer last Saturday, who were brilliant. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing Skid Row. Yeah. Um, we saw, I'm really looking forward to seeing Thunder and hearing the new stuff. Uh, we saw Maiden last Saturday, they were brilliant, so we're going to, I mean, every, it's like, yeah. we want to see every band. Everything is totally people brilliant. Keep, people keep interviewing us so we can't see, no, um, we want to see it. it. It's just, it's the greatest bill we could have been on. We're really, really honoured to, like, open it up and, you know, there's not a band in the bill we don't like. Good. Now, you've acquired a new guitarist, Pete Friesen, who used to play with Alice Cooper. He's around here somewhere. Uh, yeah. What uh, has Pete contributed to the band so far? Nice boots. Yeah. A lot of a lot of corny Canadian jokes. Um, he's he's really he's brilliant. You know, he's like he, he's come in and he's uh, he's really into into the whole thing, attitude wise and energy wise. And uh, you know, it's what we liked before. It was always me, Stump, and Floyd. And Tantrum never really got into the vibe. It never felt like four people really going for the same goal. No, it is. We hang out together. We party together. You know, and. Uh, it's just the vibe now, it's just like it was when we first started. It's really exciting and can I say it's great.
together. It's more fun that way. I said you drive me fucking crazy. Said you drive me fucking crazy. You drive me fucking crazy Few more moments to talk to the Almighty, the band opening up this 1992 Donington.